my vegetable garden. The good, the bad, and the ugly. If you wanna see my vegetable garden, how it looks in September, what's doing good and what's not, keep watching this video. Like I said in my intro, I've got the good, the bad, and the ugly here in my garden. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would give you a garden tour update. Um, I don't think I did one in August and just kind of show you what I have going on. I'm gonna show what vegetables did well, what vegetables did not do well, and the issues that I'm still having with the vegetable garden. Hi everyone, my name is Chris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel here at Gardening at the Simon Getty North. So I'm going to show you my garden. Um, we'll take a walk around. Um, there's some things that did very well in the garden and there's some things that didn't do well in the garden. And my garden's kind of in a shambles in some spots um, because we really haven't had a lot of the time um, to be able to work on the garden like I wanted to this year. There was a lot of things in the early spring that I wanted to get done that couldn't get done. And the reason for that was my husband was in a motorcycle accident back on April 13th. And he was hospitalized in ICU for five days and an additional couple days after that. So it's been a long recovery and he's just now finally starting to feel better and get back to work. So in some places, my garden, my yard has kind of suffered from it, but we're plugging along and we're doing what we can. And uh, let's go take a walk around and I'll show you um, what's going on in my garden. So one of the vegetables that are doing well are my Brussels sprouts. These are the Redarling purple Brussels sprouts. As you can see, they're sprouting. Some of the Brussels sprouts um, are still kind of small. I'm like on this one, you can see that they're pretty small yet, but they're plugging along and I have the chicken wire around to keep the rabbits out. And the carrots look like they're doing all right. Um, they're taking a while to grow as well. Here's a more Brussels sprouts. Signs of the grandkids in the garden. And these Brussels sprouts, this one's doing a lot better here. You can see the sprouts on them. But this is all Brussels sprouts over here. These are also a purple type Brussels sprout. So over in this area, I have sugar pumpkins, I have beans. Um, the pumpkins did very well, but one of the things I guess I could say, the bad and the ugly, right there. You see those? I'm not sure where some of these channels are getting their information from, but they've been claiming these Japanese beetles are only around for a month. Well, I beg to differ because look at all the damage and destruction that they've done and continue to do, especially way up on top where I can't reach them. They've been here since about the end of June, beginning of July, and today is September 8th, and I'm still dealing with that. But the beans have been very um, bountiful, I guess you could say. Um, I've already canned 15 jars of beans and you can just see them hanging on here. I've got the purple beans. They actually turn green when you cook them. And then I have these green beans here. More here. Looks like I need to pick some more. A bunch here. 
but the beans have done very well in spite of those damaging my crops. I just love this trellis. It's been very helpful um, keeping some of the stuff off the ground. Um, it looks like I have uh, some squash bug issues over here. Um, I was doing really good at the beginning, eradicating them, so I didn't have as big of an infestation as I've had in the past. Um, but they seem to be doing very well. Looks like there's a pumpkin sitting on top there. But these beans, the more you pick, the more they produce. So this is definitely um, something to grow, the beans. Um, the yellow ones, let me see if I can find them. These yellow ones, Monte Gusto, I believe the Monte Gusto beans. And then those, I believe the green, they're a, I don't know, they're a Kentucky bean. I can't read the, the tag. Kentucky green bean that grows up on the vine. They're very tasty too. The purple are a purple pole bean. But they definitely produced well this year. Over here is my cucumber patch. These are going pretty slow. Um, I think I've taken only two cucumbers off and there's one down there getting ready to pick. And then there's this little one that just started sprouting. And then I'm growing Kenowa. I've never grown Kenowa before. It's supposed to be a colorful Kenowa. I'm not sure what to do with it, but I thought it was kind of cool. The seeds are from Botanical Interest. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you would do with this Kenowa. Look at that orange color. Isn't that pretty? Kind of a red, very cool, but they're getting very tall and oh, that's really cool looking. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do to harvest them and when they're ready. Okay, so my biggest disappointment this year are my tomatoes. I've had several tomato plants. I had the Brandywine, I had the Cherokee, the Black Crim, Black Cherry, um, and all the rain that we had in the last month, the slugs had taken over my tomato patch and then blight. I had blight and slugs. Um, I was hoping to be canning tomatoes this year, but not from my garden. I'm probably going to have to buy them if I can find time to actually do canning now. Um, and and that there's still tomatoes um, available when I'm ready. But I believe this is the black cherry tomato here. Um, these ones, they're actually starting to do a little bit better, um, but all my big tomatoes are all a bust. These were the super sauce tomatoes. They're just, they're bad, they're awful. Um, I do have this tomato plant here that seems to be doing okay. I got a couple of tomatoes, but you know, this next to it, that's dead. That one's almost dead. The one next to it and the one over there, all dead from blight and slugs. Here are my strawberries. They seem to be doing okay. It looks like I need to deadhead a little bit. The trellis again, you can see the, the beans. So over here are my sweet potato slips. And then in the middle, I have the hardy kiwi that hasn't produced any fruit yet, but it's growing. But these are the sweet potato slips that I had started on my own. They look like they're starting to take off now, but you know, the temperatures are starting to get cold and uh, I don't know what's gonna be under there now. I, I just 
Not sure if I'm going to have sweet potatoes or not. I have many volunteer tomatoes. Like this one here is a volunteer. There's a volunteer there. I got some volunteers over here. Just many volunteer tomatoes. So, but they all seem to be like the cherry tomatoes. So I, I was hoping maybe it would be some of the bigger ones, but we'll see. So y'all, the other thing I have visiting my garden is this. This garden spider, it was actually over on my tomatoes on the super sauce and then it disappeared. And now I found it over here in my dahlias. So hopefully everyone says that this is a spider you want in your garden. Hopefully it does what it says it's gonna do and, and take care of my pests off of my dahlias. It must have found a better food source over here. The other thing growing good in my garden is my dahlias. This is one of the dahlia beds that I have or flower beds that I have. I don't know if that spider eats Japanese beetles, but there's some in this these weeds right here are all over the place. What do you guys use to get rid of Japanese beetles? Leave me a comment below. Look at this dahlia. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, I'm going to get out of the dahlias because I'm going to do a different dahlia video and I want you guys to be able to watch that. All right, let's go over to my next disappointment in the garden. It is my cauliflower. This was the green cauliflower and it never produced anything in the middle. So I am going to be cutting these out. Um, from what I understand, I should just cut them at the soil level and leave the roots in there and that'll help with the organic matter. So here are the purple and white cauliflowers. I kept waiting for them to get bigger. Um, they didn't really get bigger, but they ended up going to seed. So this was another disappointment, I guess categorized as the bad. The other thing I did was I direct sowed um, more of those sweet peas, the sugar snap peas, the mon the purple magnolia, and these are going very well. Um, I just need to get them so they go up on the trellis over here. And I can show you some of the sweet peas that, that we have going. Here's a couple of the sweet peas, what they look like. These are so tasty. I'm not a pea person, but these are actually good. They're sweet, crisp, and just good to have, eat off the vine. I believe this is an acorn squash that I have growing in this nest here. There's another one down there. Let's see, there's one right here. I do have some powdery mildew issues, but you know, we're getting to the end of the season and it's just, it is what it is. So these are my potatoes. I've already harvested some. Is Zeker squeak? Um, watch out for a video coming up on planting potatoes in the fall for a late fall, early winter harvest. And here is a sprout. So I will get that video out now that I know that those potatoes were viable to be able to grow. So we'll be working on that video as well. This here is the baby cakes blackberry bush that I have growing in the container. 
This thing took off after we got the reins. It's doing very well. Here are the chocolate daisies. Check out that video. Aren't they pretty? They're a real petite flower. But they're supposed to smell and taste like chocolate. I haven't tried it. I'm kind of a chicken. <laughs> Here are some volunteer tomatoes. They're actually doing better than some of the other ones. A grasshopper. This here is my purple kohlrabi from MI Gardener that's ready to harvest. I've got a few other ones, but they're a little on the small side, but I think I'm gonna get this one harvested. It's like the perfect size. So that's the tour of my vegetable garden and how it looks in September. So how's your garden doing in September? I'm in Michigan, zone 5B. I'm in the central northern lower Michigan. Um, and uh, that's what we got going on here. And <laughs> I don't know, I'm really disappointed with my tomatoes. I was really hoping to do some canning out of my garden, not someone else's garden. But you know, like I said, it is what it is. Um, I don't even know if I have time to do canning now. Um, for my tomatoes or tomatoes that I might have to purchase. So I don't know, we'll see what ends up working out. But leave me a comment below and let me know how your garden is doing. And if you're doing any um, uh, sowing for fall vegetable gardening, because right now um, is the great time to start your fall vegetables. Uh, for me, um, the only thing that I could probably start right now, like I already started the peas, I did that probably, I think around the end of August. And then uh, like the lettuce type things um, were, because my first frost date is anywhere around the end of September to around October 1st. So we'll see. I think I might look that up again to see if that changed this year. But right now, um, that's usually where our frost is. I do have frost cloth to extend my season. Um, the potatoes, um, what, definitely watch out for that video. I uh, will tell how to protect those this fall from the freeze and frost to hopefully keep those moving and be able to get another harvest of potatoes out of my containers. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you at the next one. God bless. Bye.